Good morning, fabulous one. Today we're going to talk about how change is inevitable, how it affects your marriage, and what you can do about it. Welcome, welcome to the 5D Mom podcast, where I share my spontaneous musings about self-mastery. These episodes are on the go, just like two friends talking on the phone. My name is Janice Nelson. I am the author and founder of Fabulous One Philosophy. If you wish to become a blissful mom, you must master the self and give yourself permission to shine. Let's dive deep into the topic. I believe in as above, so below, as within, so without. That's why it becomes easier now with all the new sciences available to us to see how something affects us in our physical reality or on a biological level. And that that same pattern is playing out in our mental field as well. Biology has figured out for the longest time that there are changing changes happening on a cellular level. Every seven years, our body changes. On a cellular level, our body changes. Yes, we are aware that we are getting older. That process is happening as well too. But our cells are always regenerating. Well, not always. To a certain extent, they have a shelf life. But our cells are regenerating, they're, they're, they, they die and are reborn. And this is constantly happening. And science is now even as far as to say that they are in the process of discovering how to lengthen our telomeres so that we can stay uh, alive for a lot longer. But that's, that's a side note. What I'm trying to say here is that There are so many things that are happening in our physical world that are normal to us, that we know, but we don't know how to translate what is happening in our physical world into our mental world. And actually using the science for our physicality or our biology is actually a very great way to also deduce what is happening in our mental and In our physical reality, it is very clear to see we are always changing. We are always changing. The person that you were when you were 10 years old is not the same person when you were 20. The person you were when you were 20 is not the same person when you were 30. And for some of us, the person that you were when you were 30 is not the same person now that you are 50. Okay, so... You can clearly see you're always changing. The goalposts always changes. Your your perspective on life also changes. So when you become a mother, the way you see things change. And therefore also your marriage is always subjected to change. It is only when we resist this change, that's when suffering happens. So in other words, you never stay the same. You're always changing. And only when you start to understand metaphysics and you dive deeper into philosophical concepts, combine that with now new technology, new sciences, quantum physics, and all these uh, amazing new discoveries that science is 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 bringing forth into our awareness it is it is safe to say now that we are always changing and this is also in direct alignment with the spiritual text the spiritual text that is always talking about this 3d matrix is impermanent it is impermanent because it always changes so First and foremost, we have to admit to ourselves as women that we are always changing. And that is the part that the ego plays. The ego is the conscious mind, is the divine masculine energy, which is 
able, who has the superpower to make it look like you're standing still, to make it look like you're not changing, to make it look like everything stays the same. And that's why the ego tries to keep everything neatly in a box. And as soon as you start moving out of that box, as soon as you start changing, the ego feels very uncomfortable. Your own ego feels very uncomfortable, but also the ego of other people feel very uncomfortable because you are moving them outside of their existing reality. You're moving them into the unknown. So our husbands aren't necessarily against us changing as women per se. They are also oblivious to the fact that they are a soul, mind and body. They are oblivious to the fact that they have a soul purpose and an ego purpose. They are oblivious to the fact that the soul's purpose is sub- that the soul's purpose and the ego purpose by the way is subjected to life force energy so you are energy in motion you are always moving towards a greater version of yourself which means on a cellular level and on a mental level you change and it is easy to see that if you take that into increments of decades because the 10 year old isn't the same as the 20 year old and the 20 year old is not the same as the 30 year old and the 30 year old is not the same as the 50 year old and so we have to embrace that we shouldn't see that as a violent act to rebel against another person or to purposefully take somebody else out of their comfort zone and make them uncomfortable. This is actually something that we women can clearly communicate to our husbands and help them understand because it is the level of understanding that both husband and wife have about the trajectory and the natural process of their soul's evolution and if you are unaware of your soul's evolution your conscious mind is not going to make sense of it because anything outside of your conscious awareness anything outside of your uh, box is not going to allow you to integrate it because you're going to see it as foreign you're not going to include it in as part of you you're not going to see it as something that is that belongs, you're going to see it as foreign, you're going to reject it, you're going to be against it, because it is not not part of this familiar condition you have created. So first and foremost, when you feel as a wife, you're moving in a direction, which you are, you always are, uh, but we women are more susceptible to moving with the flow, going with the current, because that's what makes us the divine feminine energy and the power of the divine masculine energy is to keep everything neatly in a box so it is very unlikely very unlikely that your husband is going to be the first one who is going to initiate that change who's going to willingly go with you on this ride on the boat and uh, lead the way and, and, and this is where we women need to become aware and awakened about our profound destiny in life and that is that we women are the leaders of the heart we women are the leaders of our non-physical reality mother is not a feminine a feminine expression mother is part of the divine masculine energy's domain mother is the divine masculine energy for her children the children are still directionless the children are still you know increasing in vibrational energy because they are growing up as children it is mother that gives them direction it is mother that gives them order it is mother that makes sure they stay in the box because otherwise they will hurt themselves so in the same token in the same way father husband is the one who creates the whole box for mother to reside in so 
that's why I am such a stickler for metaphysics and learning and doing your shine studies, learning universal laws, because you will otherwise not be able to make these type of deep level connections. And if you lack the understanding, you're not going to choose the 5D path because the 5D path is something you have to consciously choose with your conscious mind. Only when your conscious mind is ready and aware and willing to walk the 5D path will you be able to get into your bliss box because you will be able to move towards bliss consciousness. And why is that so important? Because it's going to happen regardless whether you want it or not. So you're either going to put yourself willingly on the 5D path or you can go kicking and screaming. And the result of that is when you go kicking and screaming is because you lack a level of understanding. You're now going to feel very tempted, which is not your fault. This is just a natural reaction to someone who is ignorant to her bliss because ignorance is bliss, <laughs> you would think, but because you're ignorant to your bliss, you're now going to fight against him. You're now going to convince that your current situation is wrong and therefore you're going to point out to him that he is wrong and that you are moving towards your authentic self with or without him. And that is your fastest way and a 100% guarantee that sooner or later you're going to separate. Because nobody is going to enjoy or love being blamed or pointed out as the bad guy, but then stay in a harmonious relationship. So we women, if we truly want to become the master of self, we also need to understand that once we have aligned ourselves with a man and once we have said I do for better and for worse, that the only two outcomes that there are is win-win or lose-lose. There's no such thing as win-lose. There's no such thing as I win and my husband loses. There's no such thing as me losing and him winning. But when you are in the domain of the 3D matrix and you can only think and operate from a dual perspective, this is how you're going to feel. This is how you're going to perceive it. This is how he is going to perceive it. And so now you end up in this power struggle. You end up in this battle because it's either he wins or he loses. And of course, he's going to fight for him to win. So he's going to rebel against you moving towards your authentic self if he feels that it is a losing situation or position for him to be in. So if you wish to expand and move towards a greater version of you and move towards a more authentic version of you, the hardest part in this whole dynamic is that the husband also needs to feel included in this journey that he will come out a winner by helping you win. So how can you convince him of understanding that he will be a winner if he allows you to win? And of course, I, I can hear you already. I can hear the beatbox already. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. How we're going to do that? How we're going to do that? I'm going to tell you exactly how you're going to do that. You're going to keep your mouth shut. And you're no longer going to react to anything that he does or say. No more negative reaction whatsoever. It is us women who need to quiet our mind. And when I say quiet our mind, it's the chitter chatter of the ego. Look at him doing that. Look at him doing this. He shouldn't be doing that. He shouldn't be doing this. You have all this negative chatter about him. And you think that that energy isn't felt by him. That energy is felt, but you can't move yourself from all of a sudden feeling negative emotion, negative energy towards him. All of a sudden, you're going to be this fake, happy person pretending that he's the best thing since sliced bread, even though you really, truly not feel that way. So what you're going to do 
is you're going to retreat non-reaction. You're going to stop projecting all that negative energy on him. And you're going to sit with this negative energy and allow it to swallow you whole. And of course, you're going to be like, Jen, this, is, this, does, this doesn't sound really like a healthy approach. <laughs> but it is this, this unwillingness to see your ugly self. And, you're, and, and we're always so quick to then judge the environment, the 3D world we're living in, whoever and then whoever is in it. Whoever is in it, because now we're talking about the topic that is our husbands, but it could be anybody else. It could be a co-worker, it could be a boss, it could be your mother, it could be your mother-in-law, it could be your best friends, it could be family members, anybody that forces you to go deeper within yourself and choose the 5D path, but your ego is not willing to go, your ego doesn't want to do that, is going to throw the people in your 3D world under the bus so that she can stay where she's at. So we need to stop blaming other people for how we feel and connect to ourselves on a much deeper level. So that's what I did. When I started to feel the shift, which happened to me also when I became a stay-at-home mom, because it's only when I became a mother that I started to become aware consciously aware that I was changing and I wasn't understanding that change but instead of allowing it to devour me and 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 allowing it to speed me up I stood still and decided to get curious and take my time to investigate what was really going on and when I say take my time I literally took my time I took years of sitting still and not moving and because I was in the position of a stay-at-home mom I was able to do that and so now in this story the the the, the video I'm referencing this lady so happened to be a stay-at-home mom too but she didn't see the enormous and incredible gift that was given to her by her soul she didn't see that actually becoming a stay-at-home mom becoming a mother was actually her entry point to now dig deeper into this concept of what authenticity actually truly is instead she allowed herself to be taken on this journey by the energy itself but not having any understanding where she was going. But if there's no understanding to where you are going and what is happening, at a certain point, dual, because of duality, something that maybe starts out as something as a positive expansion will now become a negative distraction or a negative... Um, it will become... A destructive energy and because your ego doesn't understand what is happening on a universal scale what is happening based on universal laws metaphysical laws you don't understand that is your level of understanding that is going to expand you to a deeper version of yourself and None of us women, first of all, hear this type of information in the way that I'm conveying it to you. And none of us women then learn of a self-mastery system or a teaching that can actually help us navigate the female hero's journey. Help us navigate how to go from the maiden to the mom to the master. Because this is something taboo, it's something unspoken. And the reason why is because for the longest time, for years, for decades, for thousands of years, the final phase of us women has been called something we reject, which is crone. 
So throughout history, we learn about the maiden mother crone. And we think that now we have to embrace within us the old evil witch in order to become our true authentic self. And those women who are oblivious about 5D consciousness, they are unable to step outside of the box of duality and therefore allow the dark mother to swallow them whole and so become the crone and basically this whole story that has been told to us for centuries now becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy because you start to believe that who you are moving towards is an unlikable version of yourself you now need to become the bad guy and see yourself as the bad guy in order to become your authentic self and the reason why you're going to believe you are the bad guy is because of all these people in your life who are in resistance with your transition towards becoming the new self and of course they're going to call you out fight against you not move with you and not want to acknowledge or admit that you are evolving to a higher version of yourself that's why i say you have to become non-reactive to the people in your environment and in this story, we're talking about our husbands. So we need to become non-reactive to our husbands. That's what I did. I became completely non-reactive. And I dove deep into the books to have a bigger and better and more intellectual understanding of what is happening to me. And... The thing that I think I did right is that the books that I chose to read were in direct um, positive uh, relation to my expansion towards my soul and expanding towards 5D. Because I can understand that that can also be a derailment. If you're just going to read the, the happy feel-good books, and if you're just going to stick to reading the psychology books, you know, the, 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 the very superficial standard books that are not helping you reach a deeper level within yourself, but they just sound good and feel good to read, you know, like um, men are from Mars and women are from Venus or... Um, Think Like a Man, and all these like self-help uh, books that are written for, for women, how to deal better with their husbands or how to create these beautiful relationships or beautiful marriages. But those books don't come from that really deep level of infinity, of 5D consciousness. Those books are more psychological babble about basically how you can conform again to pleasing other people in your life how to get along but that's not what i'm talking about i'm not talking about how to get along i'm talking about reaching the highest state of awareness the highest frequency you can possibly reach which is 5d consciousness and i call it bliss consciousness and the reason why you have to put yourself on the 5d path is because once you enter the bliss box you are out of the matrix and once you are out of the matrix you can mold the matrix shape the matrix and everybody in that matrix to how you see fit. People will start dancing to the tune of your song because once you tap into that level of mastery, people can no longer resist you. And I'm not talking about witchcraft or... Uh, <laughs> because in 
traditional sense, this is what they are trying to tell you. You're moving towards crone. So you're becoming that unlikable evil witch. No, you're not. You're becoming the master, the master of the emotional realm, the master of your inner world. And when you become the master of your inner world, it will have a direct impact on your outer world and everything will reorganize itself in your outer world. And in the beginning, of course, this sounded like abracadabra to me as well. But the more I started to do my shine work, the more I started to do my shine studies, and when I say shine, shine studies and shine work, is in direct opposition of shadow work. Because when you do shadow work, you go into the deeper, darker parts of yourself. But when you do shine work, you're going to move towards the greatest version of yourself. You're going to move towards the lighter version of yourself. And that's what we women have been obscured from. We have been obscured, veiled from ever reaching that deeper level of mastery within. Because women like that women that are 5D mothers, they are going to create this union between men and women. They're going to create union on a very high cerebral scale on this 3D planet. And of course, the powers that be or, or whoever, you know, wants to still have this old version of Earth the 3D matrix standing as it is are not going to be that in favor and worst case scenario very much against it. So the resistance your husband is showing you is, is just purely his ego not understanding what is happening and therefore rejects it because it's unknown. But on a soul level, you can reach your husband and yourself on the deepest on the deepest level that is possible because you are fabulous one you are the 5d mom whether you want to be or not you're moving in that re direction regardless and once i understood that about myself and about my own path, and about my own inner journey, I willingly put myself on the 5D path. And then I started to accelerate. And then I started to see that once it connects from within, it will show up in my outer reality. There was nothing really I truly had to tell my husband anymore. There was hardly any conversation that I had to have. The more I dove into those deeper parts of myself, where I connected more and more towards my bliss, towards that place where it's where I am in complete, in the complete state of worthiness, where there was nothing anymore I had to do in my outer world in order to prove that what I wanted was within my reach or within my grasp or it would because what I wanted was not something that I had to create within my 3D reality anymore. What I wanted was already present within me. It was already here. The version of you, the woman you see in your mind's eye, that woman that is in that euphoric state of ecstasy, complete state of worthiness, she's already here. And that's what I've done differently when I've connected to myself on 5D. And then once you are in that state of being, you will see others also from that perspective. You will see your husband from that perspective. You will see him as worthy. You will be able to differentiate between what is ego and what is not. What is ego and what is the soul? What is ego and what is... Um, coming from a place of ignorance and then you will understand that there's always this level of fear why people behave in the way they do and the fear has nothing to do with you but the fear has everything to do with a version of themselves that they are afraid to see because even our husbands believe it or not have never been taught this but they will never go there because they are afraid and their divine masculine energy 
is on such a powerful level that they will be able to hold the box steady. And that makes us women so powerful because we are the divine feminine energy. We are the ever expanding energy. But if we have no concept of what is happening, if we don't understand what is happening on a universal level, on a metaphysical level, there will not be any understanding. And if there's no understanding, then you will not be able to enter the bliss box because the ever evolving and expanding energy is your bliss energy. But bliss can only be seen from inside the box and the box is the divine masculine energy so you have to form the box around it so that you can see the beauty of it anything outside of the box will go back to potential energy anything inside the box will be energy that can be made tangible that can be made visible so If you do not have a higher level of understanding, you cannot form the box around bliss energy. And therefore, bliss energy then becomes a blinding energy. And that's what you experience in your marriage. You're trying to shine your light. You're trying to give yourself permission to shine. And you're starting to shine. But that shine, that light, is blinding them it's blinding him because they don't have the understanding and the box in order to see and so once you willingly put yourself on that journey of becoming 5d you're going to create win-win situations for the both of us for the both of you you're going to be able to communicate in a way that includes him in the journey. Yes, you can still change towards that um, more outspoken version of you, more direct version of you, but you're going to become very playful about it. You're going to be very um, intuitive and intellectual at the same time. Because that's what you need when you want to become playful in a way where you can instill humor in your ways of behaving and ways of seeing. That means that whenever your husband will do things from an egoic perspective, that initially or that you would use to trigger you will now no longer trigger you because you are no longer attached on an emotional level, to what is happening in your 3D world. And so therefore, you will be able to see it from a more neutral, observing perspective and then connect your own deeper wisdom that you have tapped into because you are on the 5D path and relay that back to your husband. And your words of wisdom will then fall uh he will he will hear them because he will understand on the level that you're trying to reach him and so for men the divine masculine energy is the domain of understanding and so if you can help him see how he is also A soul, mind and body who is on this path to evolve and become the most authentic version of himself. Then you will both understand that together you are co-creating in this universe. And it becomes super exciting because even though you've been together for a very long time, you're going to feel as if you're rediscovering each other over and over again. And then the deeper you go into your 
consciousness into bliss consciousness because there's so much to excavate there there's so many diamonds there for you to uncover it is as if you get to know every time you find a new diamond there are new things you discover and uncover uh, within each other and that is what's going to create that that soul made connection with your husband because the ego is always going to be to a certain extent the ego the triggers are always going to be there the 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 ego is always going to respond good or bad depending on the eye of the beholder but it is your ability to see the ego from a non-reactive state of being from a non-emotional state of being so therefore even when the trigger happens you do not react and that alone is going to be like a, you're going to become this big enigma to your husband because the regular buttons that he's used to pushing to trigger you and for you to behave in the way that he's used to you behaving, you are no longer triggered by it. But as a bonus, you're also no longer having any negative reaction. You're no longer giving him the predictable response now you're becoming incredibly intriguing and interesting and he's going to refocus himself back on you and it is nothing that you had to do you didn't have to tell him change this or else you didn't have to say you need to do this or else you didn't have to threaten him by saying you need to do your inner work because you're not evolving or not growing or this separation is, is, is the cause of this separation is the, um, is the, is, is because you are not doing your inner work. Just pointing the finger at someone else is not going to help you create that deeper level soul connection. And there is this corny saying, you know, when you point the finger at someone else, three fingers are pointing back at you. So I clearly understood the assignment when I became a stay-at-home mom and I immediately and I received the assignment when I had my daughter and my daughter is my first child and my only child. I never wanted to have more than one. So I heard the call of the soul when I became a stay-at-home mom and I chose the door that led to my 5D path. But in order to travel on my 5d path i had to increase my level of understanding and to increase my level of understanding i had to become smarter so i had to start doing my shine studies had to start reading a lot in order to expand my level of understanding and reach myself on that deeper level and every time i connect to myself on a deeper level and i connect to myself on a on a deeper part of me that is truly connected to my heart and my soul, I started to see my husband from a much beautiful perspective, through a much more beautiful lens. And it's not that he all of a sudden transformed into this, you know, most perfect ideal husband. No, I started to see him from that deeper perspective. I started to understand much better why the ego operates and moves in certain ways because the ego is very much recognizable there are patterns there and once you start to understand the patterns of the ego it becomes very easy to read and it becomes very easy to connect the dots and it becomes very easy to go back to its original cause because that's what it is it is not just cause and effect you have, to tra- tra- you have to reverse engineer all the steps to go back to the original cause. Once you point out the original cause and transcend it, whatever it is that is triggering you in his behavior will first be transcended within you. Once you transcend it within yourself, it will also transcend within your 3D world. Your 3D world will then change in that very moment, in that instance. And you can prove it to yourself by seeing the synchronicities because 
when you're really deeply connected to your inner world and connecting to your inner master, you will start to see things positively change in your 3D reality, including with your husband. You will start to see him do things, positive things that you never told him to do and that he maybe doesn't even have the awareness why he's really doing it, but it just came to him. Because he is now becoming deeply inspired by you. And so there's, n- there's no, no fight we need to have with our husbands. It is actually the fight within ourselves and within our hearts that we need to lay down. That we need to put to rest and connect to that deeper part of us, which is that stillness, which is that peace which is 5D consciousness and then restore the bliss box so we can live in a harmonious way in our 3D reality. So becoming the blissful mom is you remembering that you are magic. You bring the magic into this marriage and when you allow him to be mesmerized by the magic and he trusts that this is for the betterment of the both of you he will also find himself again in this process without you having to threaten punish um Or use any coercive tactics in order to make him play ball. So our biggest assignment as women, as we transition in our our female's hero's journey, is to go from maiden to mother to master. And we have to fully embrace this exciting journey, which it is, is the most exciting journey you will ever embark upon in your life there is nothing else more exciting than becoming 5d especially when you start having your bliss breakthroughs and you'll start to really have those those diamond moments that where you can clearly see that that one little shift has such a positive dramatic impact not only on yourself but also on your family dynamic. And once you start to trust this path of 5D, when you start to trust the way, which is basically what we need to do as women, when we start to trust the way and take ourselves on this 5D path, that's when we will restore the connection to our inner master. And once we master the self, and give ourselves permission to shine, turn our light on in the box, and become the bliss box, you will have and create your blissful life. This was it for today. Hope you have a wonderful start of the week, and talk to you soon.